Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're making an on-air sign using NeoPixels and CircuitPython. We were inspired by the BusyBox interruption signs, so we designed and 3D printed our own enclosure. We designed it to have swappable faceplates so the front cover can easily come off. We used black LED acrylic for the faceplates so it evenly diffuses the NeoPixels. We made a few different covers and vinyl cut the decals so they look really nice. The slide switch is built into the side of the enclosure so you can easily turn it on and off. It runs off a LiPo battery so it can be mounted to our door without any dangling cables. The code for this project uses the LED animation library for CircuitPython. It uses the pixel map helper to create an 8x2 grid which is used for the comet animation. The animation sequence allows you to cycle through different effects so you can get a nice assortment of colors and animations. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. We designed the parts to be 3D printed without any support material using our favorite PLA filament. The two strips of NeoPixels are wired to an Adafruit feather along with the slide switch. Be sure to check out the learn guide for full step-by-step -step tutorial on building this project. We printed out a template for cutting the faceplates out of a sheet of black LED acrylic. I started by scoring the paper backing using an X-Acto knife. I used a metal ruler on a cutting mat and made sure to be extra careful. To cut the acrylic, I used a scoring tool that's specifically made for cutting acrylic. I made sure to score several times before snapping off the pieces. Once I was about halfway through, I put it near the edge of the table and snapped off the piece. I repeated this process so that I could make a few different designs. I used a vinyl cutter with some matte black vinyl to create the signs. I cut pieces of transfer tape to size and carefully placed them over the vinyl. Using a squeegee, I start from the center and work my way outwards so that I can knock out any air bubbles. I tend to peel slowly, especially for intricate designs with small pieces. I made sure to wipe the acrylic clean with a bit of alcohol before sticking it to the faceplate. Using the squeegee once again to knock out those pesky air bubbles. Then I proceeded to peel off the transfer tape and lastly remove the protective paper backing. I found the matte black vinyl works the best for masking out the LEDs. The 3D printed enclosure is pretty modular and the parts can be printed relatively quickly. The front and the back covers snap fit onto the frame so it's pretty easy to put together and take apart. I plan to use this a whole lot and I really hope this inspires you to check out CircuitPython. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.